Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vance Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. Holy shit! How long has it been, guys? Curious, isn't it? Love can be a powerful weapon, it seems, even to those who are dead. Laura has spared him, though she has the power to take his life. She has given it back, and all for love. Perhaps she remembers her true mother's arms around her. Comforting her before she became this creature, perhaps she remembers the feelings of love thought long lost to her heart all those years ago. A child's love is without bitterness or boundaries. A pure love. I wonder what will become of her, this lost soul, when we kill her present mother, and send her to the pits of hell where she belongs. I'm sure she'll take it. Reasonably well. It's not a real mother shit. Anyway, yeah, it's been such a long time, guys. Holy shit. I mean, I only had like a chance to record like that stuff with Opaque about like Oracle of Seasons, but that was about it. <laughs> I've just been like studying for my finals and stuff. Been studying, working on projects, all this other shit. And my god, I'm <sighs> finally out. I am finally out. Oh, uh. I'm done. I'm done making weird noises. At least for now, anyway. So let's just continue on where we last left off. And it's pretty much almost exactly... It's almost immediately after what happened in the last part, if you don't remember. Because you didn't see it a long time ago. Or you saw it a while ago. It's just we barely escaped dying because that one chick was... Eh, she was desperate and... Then, uh, I want to say she was desperate. <laughs> anyway, we found the scroll right here. Young child crying in the darkness. My first thought was to comfort her, but something stayed my mind, stayed my hand. There's an evil surrounding her, something unholy. Quick escape to the ramparts of the castle. I'm now exhausted, been able to scavenge many gems here. For many of my brothers did not get this far, and uh, he already gave up. He's he's dead. Anyway, we barely managed to survive fighting that one. Uh, what was her name? Laura, like Laura Winslow. Yeah, we barely managed to survive against Laura Winslow, and then, uh, just because she saw Marie and was like, Oh shit, th these bitches are in love, I'm gonna go find Steve Urkel. Which, by the way, I don't know. I wanted to talk about the whole, or, now I want to talk about the whole thing where, like, the final season of Family Matters, where, like, Laura finally realized, Oh shit, I'm in love with Steve. I'm like, okay, that's nice. Even though she was so damn adamant, adamant about it for like the first eight fucking seasons. And I'm done with that. Though honestly, it seems nice. It's alright. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop ranting about that. That's something you don't want to rant about, especially in a game like this. Need my health? Oh yeah, I need health. Anyway, if you guys see, I actually did get some upgrades to my health. I think to my light magic and to my shadow magic, definitely. But it's because I actually finally went back a couple of levels and I went to collect some gems that I uh, missed back in chapters 5 through 7. And I managed to pull those off. Anyway, here's a, another one of those rune puzzles. I saw, I used all my remaining magic energy trying to solve this puzzle, but I cannot get past it. They told me the, that these clues would be enough to figure out a solution, but I'm unable to find it. There are six runes in total, three of each color. There are two blue runes on the left side of the door. The runes closest to the door and those farthest away from it match the color of the ones placed in front of them. Hmm. At least one of the runes which are farthest away from the door is blue. I think I remember what the pattern was for this one because a while back I did do, uh, or I played through most of this game by myself. I think it was on Thanksgiving, or a little bit before Thanksgiving. I played it on my own terms, and I remember going through this puzzle, and I think I remember what the pattern was. Up, oh, that ain't it. If I remember, uh, I think it was this one blue. No, piece of shit. Anyway, I did kind of work up on my skills considering I haven't played this in such a long time. Hey, hey, stop, stop. No. Yeah. <laughs> eh, screw it. Yeah. yeah. Good enough. <laughs> Either way, there's unlimited magic near him here, so shit, I don't have to worry. No, don't come back. Don't come back. Anyway, I did do a bit of research on the whole shadow magic thing. And I'm definitely going to start using it more because, yeah, it helps break against enemy guard. And, like, I never really 
realize that. I thought it was just more damage, but I guess it adds more force to your attacks, so much so that it even breaks enemy guard. And yes, I'm using the fuck out of it. Jeez, it runs out so quick, though. That's the thing. Hey. No. Do it. Do it. Eh, you didn't. Do it. Eh, you did it. <laughs> Good enough. And I'm just gonna get this guy out of the way. And yeah. Of course, they had to bust out the fucking enemies when you're trying to figure out a fucking rune puzzle. Oh shit. I saw him there. I didn't do anything about it. And I'm just gonna get some light magic. I'm gonna get my health back. Oh. These two trying to do like a cross thrust on me. Like Tales of Symphony or like Tales series cross thrust. It's a compound special attack. You guys don't know anything about the Tail series. Anyway, I'm gonna get these guys out of here. And this guy too. Oh shit, you freaking. Stop it. Stop it. Jesus, like he doesn't stop until he fucking hits you or something. Or he gets dizzy. Either way, it's all good. I'm just gonna smack the shit out of him. And he. How did. He wasn't even blocking! I think. I wasn't really paying attention. I was blocking, and now I'm countering. Sweet. There we go. No have to deal with these. Ah, fucking more vampires, really? I saw them right in the corner. Oh, nope. There you go, buddy. Get the fuck. Yeah, bastard. <laughs> uh, I don't think they keep. I don't think they stop spawning, or at least they keep going for a while and shit. Anyway, I did go collecting gems in previous chapters that I haven't collected them all in. That's what I like about the gems. You could collect them as long as you... Like, even if you don't have a certain upgrade. Or, like, they don't require upgrades you get later on. Like, that's only for, like, the upgrade to the, uh... I don't know, how do you say it? It's only for upgrades that you get for, like, your sub-weapons. Like, how many more... How many more you can carry? Ah, it's some of them. Fucking shit! Alright, look. You want you want light magic? You want light magic? Yeah. Fuck you, sir. Stop trying to do that, you fucking. Okay, I'm done. I still need magic for this. Shit. Ah. Am I gonna be done with this anytime soon? Seriously. Anyway, how's your guys' uh, vacation time been? Because it has been like at least a, I don't know, the day I'm recording this. What is it? Uh, November 29th. It's been at least one week since Thanksgiving. How has your Thanksgiving been, guys? I'm assuming it's been alright, and yes, here we go. Now to continue. Mine was alright. Like, I drank a bit on the <laughs> Thanksgiving night, and then uh, went hanging out with my friends, or we went to Black Friday. It was nice. It was real nice. And, ah, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, thank God it didn't cancel these ones out. Uh, can't remember. Do it. What the fuck? Oh, oh, I ran out of magic. I thought they just reacted. Fuck, now I gotta do those ones again? That's weird. Nah. I, I didn't think that actually used up so much of your light magic. So much so it didn't even freaking activate the one rune I was trying to use it on. Alright, fine. I'm not gonna question it. But if I do remember correctly, this was the pattern. So the first two were red. Or at least the ones closer to the door are red. And then the one, the right middle one is red, and the rest are blue. So, yes, you're all well and good there. Yeah, that one's a pretty basic puzzle, or at least a basic pattern to remember. The puzzle itself, though, is like, eh. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, now let's just continue onward. I don't think, I don't know if I've missed any bodies. I'm pretty sure I have. Making sure. This game has a nasty habit of throwing bodies out of nowhere, freaking like, what? Do 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 do. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, I'm pretty sure I could fall off of this. I don't want to try though. I'll just keep running. <laughs> I got nothing to say. All I can say is that I went with my friends to Black Friday. Like I was looking for the one deal. I'm pretty sure some of you guys saw it. It's like uh. Ah, fucking gremlins. Like, it's this one deal that was going on. It's like a PS3. It's like the slim version, or the slimmer version of the PS3 for like 200 bucks. 
and it came with both one infamous one and two and jesus i'm not gonna fucking no no you're gonna freaking do that aren't you okay nope hey well that works that works too oh i could have used the daggers too i just remembered anyway with this puzzle it's not so straightforward and you gotta you gotta run over here as this goes along and you'll reach over here for some reason, I had to. I thought you had to run it as it was still there, but then I realized, wait a minute, it swings back anyway, no matter what you do. And right here, ooh, a body. And we found a tower key, and I'm assuming we need this. Yeah, I'm really assuming we need this. And of course, sword masters, guys, like I haven't had enough of you, you bastards. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. There you go, sir. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm done. Okay, now I'm done. For now. God damn it, another one. And get over here. Thank you. And he has the glowy sword. Fuck. Fuck. Not liking the glowy sword, sir. So you can attack so quick with it. And I managed to actually block it. Alright, cool. Gotta get in focus here. And, <laughs> shit! I was supposed to know it was freaking unblockable. And hopefully it just auto-saved once I reached the key. And thankfully it did. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh... Oh wait, never mind. I thought the holy water did something, but never mind. Alright, what about these? There we go. At least now I'm starting to use fairies to their full advantage because these uh they get distracted and then I can just wail on their ass. Look at this. I got this guy down with one fairy. You gotta love it. Same with this guy. Do 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 do. Look at this. There we go. And then once those fairies explode, and it's just like easy pickings right there. Hooray! I'm actually using my sub weapons to my full advantage. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't get how that gate swung up though when that thing, when this middle pillar thing didn't even swing at all. I guess I don't even know. I'm not gonna question it. Actually, wait, is there anything? That and nothing to my full advantage. Making sure there's no bodies that I'm missing here, other than that one. I already got that one. Fuck it. Alright, let's just continue onward because we needed that tower key. Because if you just continue onward over here, I'm pretty sure there was just like, hey, a locked door. And you're like, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I remember some missing something. Uh, shit, shit, shit. I remember I missed something before and then I came back for it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Or maybe I thought that this body was required or was optional. Eh, that was probably it. Never mind. I'm wasting you guys' time. I apologize. I can't dash up. What the hell? There we go. Wait a minute. Wait, that's the same spot we were just at. What the hell am I thinking? Eh, whatever. So yeah, I went on Black Friday, and then I got me a PS3 with both Infamous 1 and 2 and Uncharted 1 and 2, all of which were for $200 in total. And I was just like, holy shit. That is... I don't know about you guys, but that is a fucking steal of a deal right there. Uh, no rhyme intended. Man, that is a good fucking deal if I have ever seen it. I haven't seen any very many good deals in my lifetime, so I really don't know. <laughs> so I think there is... Aha, yes, body over here. Please let it have a fucking... Yes. Oh, we got an upgrade to our light magic now, and I think it's just about even with the shadow magic. I think I only have a bit more... Uh, Life gems to collect, I think maybe 10? I can't remember. And actually, I haven't even bothered to check. And let's see if there's something over here. No bodies. No bodies? Alright, cool. And how long have I recorded? 15 minutes? Yeah, I think I could fit in one more level. Hopefully. Hopefully. Do I take the key? Nope. Alright, screw it. Alright. Ah, I did miss something. A shadow magic gem. Oh, I know what I'm going back for. <laughs> I don't know. And the clockwork tower. Uh, 
Good music, good times. I doubt it's the same with this one, though. The vampire's mercy is playing on his thoughts. I see that clearly on his face. Perhaps Laura reminded him of poor Claudia. Seeing his beloved Marie again has brought it all back to him. Marie's love is all he has now, and the hope of holding her again, the only hope. He is close now, close to the bitch who commands these <clears throat> vampire vermin. <laughs> Gabriel will make her pay for the injustices he has felt at her hands. She is powerful. She will try every trick in the book to tempt him to her cause. There is just the small matter of the clockwork tower to overcome first. Another mad invention of Frankenstein that I hope will only delay his sweet revenge. So if you've played any Castlevania games before, then you know that there is certain uh, soundtrack that's usually called through most of the Castlevania games. It's called the Clockwork Tower. Or Clockwork Tower. My god. I love that music, but unfortunately they didn't have like any remix of it in this level. Eh, I kind of... I was just like, oh, I'm a little disappointed. But whatever. This level though, eh, it's pretty alright. Pretty much... Eh, shit, I'm already losing my balance. Pretty much what you're doing is just like you're bringing this thing up with you across the floors and you, as you try to do stuff, or as you try to reach the top. So you just gotta maneuver your way across this stuff accordingly, figure out how the clockwork uh, tower itself works, and then you should be good. And I almost fell off right there. <laughs> oh god! Ah! And I fucked up. One quarter of my fucking health, sir, fuck you. I don't think there was anything over there, though. Doesn't look like it, anyway. Doesn't look like anything's moving. So I'm like, screw it. Now this time I'm just gonna take my time. This thing, ironically, the Clockwork Tower, is about time. And taking it. If you guys see right there, there's some gears that are all electrified and such, and... Yeah, we might want to avoid the fuck out of that. Or not. You could easily not avoid it. Just stand the fuck here. Anyway. Just jump up here, and then wait for this to stop spinning, and jump through. Simple enough. And you just gotta wait for the next platform to come by and such. Yeah. Ooh, close one. Yeah. And you just gotta wait for this thing to come up and down and all around and titties on that statue. That's nice. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, sir. I'm gonna. There we go. Alright, cool. And then from here, you just gotta figure a way to jump to the right there. And I always found this shit finicky. And, oh, barely. Alright, good. Hey, I made it. Now, this part, I think, was finicky. Because I always tried twisting this before when I was first going through it, and then randomly, it would just Gabriel would just let go. I'm like, what the hell? But thankfully, it's not doing that now. Yet... Actually, no, it's not doing it at all. Never mind. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do it again where it's just like Gabriel would randomly let go. I'm like, what the hell, Gabriel? I didn't push right trigger. Did I tell you to push right trigger? I didn't tell you to push right trigger. And, goddammit, I'm holding right trigger. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm talking about something. And you... So yeah, at least it gives you the path and like you don't have to like figure out shit. Ah, oh, I do see something down there. Hey! Gabriel. Eh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a gem that I missed. I'll come back to it someday. Just not today. Now for this part, it's kind of uh, this part always tricked the fuck. This tricked the fuck out of me when I tried figuring it out. Like you would think you'd have to jump over this lightning, and like if you touch it, you instantly just drop to the ground. Like you, oh wait, you have to push X to kick your way off the fucking wall like that. So yeah, you just press X to jump over it, right? Nope. What you have to do in the game never gives you an indication, you have to push X twice. Or, you have to... Once you press X and then like you start hitting the wall again, you gotta hit it twice. And it gives you an extra jump. As such. I don't get how you're supposed to figure that out. I mean, sure, it's nice that they don't give you a hint, like that you have to experiment with that whole kicking off the wall, but when did you ever... Before this part, when did you ever have to kick off the wall twice. I don't know, that was just a little uh, vague as fuck. Vega as fuck. I, don't know, I just 
Anyway, well, like with the PS3, I just got my friend Eric to come over, and then we were playing Super Street Fighter 4. He plays a good Vega. And please don't tell me she. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. There we go. Like, he plays a good Vega, and I'm surprised I actually found a character I was good with. Like, I'm alright with the character, this one character, Fei Long. And I'm just gonna move over here. Let's just get the fuck over here. Actually, I doubt I could reach that gem that I saw. Eh, I'm not even gonna try. At least not now. Oh, right. See the wall right there. Yeah. So, where to go? Where to go? Shit. Where do I go? <laughs> where do I go, sir? I don't see where the fuck. Oh, there we go. Never mind, I figured it out. By accidentally pushing down, I thought I was gonna fall. I thought I was falling to my death. Never mind. It's all cool. It's all graving and such. And of course, magic. I'm gonna. Actually, I'm pretty good with magic. Never mind. Oh, shit. Think good thing about these lightning things is like they don't shock you, or they don't take away any hell. Hell, <laughs> I was trying to say hell, and like hell. I'm just gotta figure out the pattern with this thing. And I just like two quick zap, and then there we go. All right, cool. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I move to the right there? Nope. All right, making sure. There's usually random shit that's just lying all over the place. I'm not jumping on the wall, damn it, freaking Gabriel. There we go. Alright, now let's just bring that thing up. God, I'm freaking tired. All I've done today is play Tales of Graces F because I finally can get around to it. Ah, shit. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> I'm having a ball, man! Anyway, yeah, we're finding the mechanical monstrosity once more. He's got a bit of a twist this time. Now he has stuff floating around him for some fucking reason. So yeah, we're gonna be fighting the crap out of him. Hopefully, yeah, wait, I should probably heal first. <laughs> Considering my health, and I'm pretty sure Tit was yelling at me right now. Heal! Heal! Or, that's what I'm assuming he does. That's what he tells me all the time. Like, he sees me at low health, he's like, heal! It's like he it's like healers down, need a res, out of mana! Ah! Oh shit. Yeah, I'm taking this guy down like gangbusters. I'm breaking his guard. Or at least I think I'm breaking his guard. Doing more damage at the very least. There we go. Got most of my fucking shadow magic out of the way. Anyway, just watch out when he starts throwing stuff, cause then it'll just like interrupt your freaking if you have focus it'll interrupt the fuck out of that. And this time he doesn't have a means to recover his health, so it's just a straight out one in one battle. Eh, get the fuck over here. There you go, sir. Kill the baby! Kill the crazy alien baby for the love of God, sir! Is he dead? Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Alright. At least this time you did it, freaking Gabriel. Alright, now let's set out what we were supposed to do. Anyway, as I was saying, now that I got the PS3, I was finally able to play the one game that I've had in my arsenal for 8 months, but I wasn't able to fucking play. Tales of Graces F. Holy shit, man. Like, just by the first, I think I played for like 13 hours, 14 hours, like ever since Friday, or ever since Black Friday at the very least. Just by those, like, 14 or 15 hours that I've played it, I want to say it is, like, one of my favorite Tales games already. Even though, like, the character cast is a little cliche, or, like, it's very... It feels a lot more anime-esque than any of the previous ones before. Anyway, ah, I didn't get a single fucking gem. Damn it. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna just keep on going. But I think I will leave... Old rocks for the next part, because now I'm just going to be showing off like the gems I went and collected off screen. So if you guys like this part, give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos if you really feel like it. Next time on Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow, we're going to be fighting someone's brother, Old rocks And yeah, I don't know. You guys will recognize the guy, so see you guys then.